afternoon. I don't think I need to explain in Denmark why we need to go offshore in order to harvest the best energy resources that we have. You have a lot of experience, but also in Denmark it's very unique because you have shallow waters in the North Sea, which is something that is extremely unique. More than 80% of the oceans are deep waters in Europe, in the US, Japan, and other countries. And at that water depth, then you need to go floating. Here you have an example of an installation done by Dom, where you can see that you have fixed structures up to 30, 40 meters water depth, and you, re you require these large vessels, uh, vessels offshore in order to do the installation. If you go beyond the, those water levels, then you need to go floating. The problem with floating technology is that it's relying right now in oil and gas technology, which is extremely expensive. And at Exxon Wind, we wanted to redesign that. So what we've come up is with a disruptive technology that is actually allowing their system to weather vane itself. It has a single point mooring system so that the whole structure weather vanes. By doing that, we can eliminate this tower, we can redesign this whole structure so that it's much lighter. We can eliminate active view, active ballast systems so that everything is passive, which is very important offshore. Not only that, but we can pre-install what we call the pivot buoy before bring the platform which has been already pre-assembled in the port. So we do everything with local vessels and we don't need this large heavy lift vessel. We haven't invented anything new. What we did is really looking at the different options that are there. You have different oil and gas technologies among which TLP is the lightest, so you save a lot of steel. But the problem of TLP is that extremely difficult to install because the platform itself without the tension cables, it's unstable and the turn would fall down. So what we did is combining the TLP technology very light with the advantages of semi-submersible technology, which is very easy to install, but it's heavier. What we've achieved is a massive weight reduction against other systems such as semi-submersible or SPAR, and we're as light as a TLP, but as I mentioned before, a lot easier to install. But it's not everything about weight. It's also more reliable as we use passive systems for orientating and for ballast. It's easier to connect and it's more scalable. We're using downwind turbines, so they're actually facing, not facing the wind, but putting their back onto the wind, so that when you make the, the turbines larger, the blades bend, again, not against the towers, but uh, away from the towers, so that you can go up to 10, 12, 15, even there's some designs for 20 megawatt turbines. This means, at the end of the day, a reduction of the LCOE, which is the key indicator. We expect to reduce 40% on our first pre-commercial array against the state of the art today. And in the long term, with larger turbines scaling up to 10 megawatt and larger arrays of 100, 200, or 500 megawatts to be competitive not only against floating wind solutions today, but against offshore wind, onshore wind, and solar. So we've proved the concept. And last year, um, we did a, a wave tank test with our 164 scale prototype that you can check out. It's in the demonstration area. And right now, we're working on design optimization, and we're going to do a new set of tests uh, in February this year. And after that, we want to move offshore already and do a power scale demonstration in the Canary Islands, likely, with a number of partners. Beyond that, we want to launch our full scale demonstration and our commercial phase. So we're a small company doing the engineering. We want to partner with turbine OEMs as well as EPCI contractors in order to deliver and lower the cost of LCOE uh, for wind farms offshore. Our uh, founding team is, is, is based by Carlos Casanova, who is sitting over there. Uh, I myself, Carlos, developed the concept at MIT five years ago and has experience in oil and offshore wind uh, turbine design. I myself bring experience from as a renewable energy consultant in the marine energy sector. Please come and visit us. Our booth is over there, and uh, we can give you more details. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um...